Hi, welcome back to the Summer Rain Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make bath truffles that look just like a scoop of ice cream for your bathtub. Um, these ones are actually the ones that I made so they are still drying but just to show you this is one that I made yesterday and they will harden up in about a day or so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and learn how to make bath truffles. These are the ingredients that you're going to need when making a bath truffle. I know it looks like a lot, but really it isn't. Um, let's just go ahead and dive right in here. So we have baking soda and citric acid. These two together, when they make contact with water, they create like a bubbling effect. Think of a bath bomb. So the minute it touches, it starts dispersing. What you don't want is your truffle just to be a hard blob in the tub. You want it to start dispersing bubbles right away once you put it in. So this is going to help with that. Um, the cool thing about it is when it's fizzing and everything else, it really disperses the fragrance in the air. So I really love that. Then we have cream of tartar. So this is used to help enhance your bubbles so you get a really nice bubble in your tub. Then we have SLSA. This is our surfactant. You need a surfactant in order to create bubbles. Without it, there are none. This one is super mild. So it's sometimes called baby foam because it's used in a lot of baby products. Then we have two butters. We have coconut oil and cocoa butter. We use these for two things. One, they're emollients, so they're going to help to soften our skin. The second reason we use them is we need the bath truffle to hold its shape. So cocoa butter is a very hard butter. Coconut oil is solid at room temperature. It helps the bath truffle keep its shape. Then we have polysorbate 80. And we do not use a lot of this, but it is so, so important. This is our emulsifier. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna emulsify the oils with the water. So then that way it's all kind of mixed in and you don't have oil floating on the top of your tub or on the bottom, making it all super slippy <laughs> when you try to get out. So you definitely wanna use the polysorbate 80. Then your fragrance oil. Now I'm using mango fragrance oil, which smells amazing. And the last two ingredients that we have are biodegradable glitter and mica powder. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is grab a heat safe container, pop in your cocoa butter and your coconut oil. And we're going to pop this on a double boiler until it's completely melted. So while your butters are melting on the double boiler, you can go ahead and combine all of your dry ingredients. So we'll take the baking soda, citric acid, cream of tartar, and then the SLSA. Now when you pour this one, you wanna be a little bit careful because it can kind of come at you and cause a little bit of irritation. So just pour it really close to the other powders. And then while we're waiting for our oils on the double boiler, I went ahead and lined my work area with some freezer paper. Um, just tape the corners to help it stay down, otherwise it's gonna be curling up all over on you. So you can do that while you're letting your oils melt. Once your oils are completely melted, just go ahead and pop them in with the dry ingredients. And then we're just going to give it a good mix here. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our fragrance oil and our polysorbate 80. Now this is a viscous liquid, so it is gonna take a little bit to get it all to pour in there for you. And then you just mix it up again.
Okay, now I just kind of want to show you the texture here. Unlike a bath bomb that's really crumbly, you can tell this is more of like a Play-Doh texture. Um, that's what's going to allow it to hold its form and actually look like a scoop of ice cream. So what I do is I like to just scoop out part of our bath truffle mixture. And we'll set this off to the side. And I'm only going to color this part of the bath bomb. So then that way we'll have orange and white swirls throughout it. So you just add your mica powder and then give it a good mix. Now it does take just a minute to get everything mixed in well. Okay, and I think that's mixed good enough. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to layer the color. So we're going to alternate between the orange and the white and just kind of stack it on top of each other. There's no wrong way to do this. And then we'll just keep stacking it. Okay, and then you just go ahead and scoop up the whole pile. I just like to break it in half a few times and stack it on itself. And then you see the swirl? design that you get. Now literally the most important thing to make in a bath truffle is that you get a cookie scoop that has a trigger. Without the trigger you're not going to make it look like a scoop of ice cream no matter what you do. So this is literally the most important Part of making the bath truffle. So with your cookie scoop, you really want to press the mixture in there and you want to put it right on top of the paper. So if you drop it from here, it's not going to look as nice. Um, the top tends to get messed up and part of it doesn't have the ice cream scoop look. So actually go down as close as you can and then scoop it onto your freezer paper. And then just to show you, if you ever mess up when, oh, that's actually a really good one. Okay, we'll mess up on this one. You can always re-scoop them. So I'll show you that on this one. It's going to show you in the last one, but it was too good of a one to re-scoop. Okay. So say if I didn't like that scoop, which is actually another really good one, so I'm going to re-scoop this one. You can always just push the mixture back in. And re-scoop it. So you can re-scoop as many times as you need to to make sure the bath truffle looks how you want it to look. And then I just kind of brush some of the broken bits off of it. And the biodegradable glitter, kind of optional, but I really think it adds something to the bath truffles. So if you don't have any, or if you oh, want to leave it out, you can. Um, I just like the way that it looks. I got a little wild on this one. 
but I actually like it. So just to show you, these do completely harden. It does take about a day or so, just leave it out. And then um, normally about a day, day and a half, your bath truffle will be hard enough to package or to use whatever you'd like to do. Um, in the comments or like in the description below, I do post a link to my blog where you can get the full recipe. So it is available on there. You can print it, do whatever you'd like. So I just want to show you here how much bubbling these bath truffles actually do. So I'm going to grab just a wee little bit of the bath truffle and let's see if I can get my sink hose thing over here without making a mess. We'll go ahead and add some water. And as you can see, you get a lot of bubbles with this bath truffle. Um, with the little bit that you have left over when you're waiting for your bath bombs to set, seriously try this before you wash your dishes out and you're gonna see how many bubbles you really do get with this bath truffle. Um, also, the water is really soft. Like you can really feel all the oils in there. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, it, feels really nice. It does make a really nice bath truffle with a ridiculous amount of bubbles. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making and using your bath truffles. Bye.